Thanks for staying with us. As much as we have rep uh, representation of women in tech, we can't help but vis uh, visualize men when we think about tech and we believe this is as a result of absence of efficient brand positioning for women. So how we showcase women in tech should be more detailed and focus on achievements uh, success rate and impact ultimately this world or, or ultimately rather this would improve um, innovation in tech while bridging the gap um, the gender gap now so do you think this is achievable right if we say we want to bridge the gender gap for women and bring them out more to be a lot more visible right when it comes to tech do you think this is achievable now please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an S. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my autopilot in my head. It is well. <laughs> so let me come to our tech person here first. Who's that? Uh, who's that? You don't know yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot yourself oh, all of a sudden. Please not going to call me. me. So Elsie, let's talk tech, you know, because... I mean, when we when we thought about this um, topic, and you you and I were chatting on the conversation and the direction, you know, it actually did make make sense to me because a lot of times, honestly, if I think, um, in as much as over the last, um, I think three to five years, a lot has happened in tech space for women, you mm -hmm. know, especially the invention of um, STEM and all of that, and making it a lot more deliberate and funding even going towards that bit. But it's still very very, you know. Um, minute that impact, right? Why is that so? Why is it difficult for us to be able to, you know, have women really, really be at the forefront of tech? Hmm. So there, there, there are different ways to look at it, but I think the most important part is that it's we need to understand that it's not going to be automatic. Um, now we know that yes, women can do things and do them. Um, almost the same way that men can or even way better, right? And we are beginning to create room for that conversation, create room for that opportunity, um, also create a, an enabling environment for a woman to work because we cannot shy away from our very peculiar biological, um, um, should I use the word barriers now or... Uh, just bi our oh, biological uniqueness. uniqueness. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. So uh, we cannot shy away from that. And it means that when you are talking about inclusion for women as well, you also have to put that into consideration um, as regards to how we are treated, where we have to go and leave on maternity leave. We were oh, talking sense. about our periods and every other thing and how our life just unfolds, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then one of the reasons I, I knew that we had to have this guest we're having today was because of something she said on a space we had on Twitter, right? And where she was talking about, yes, we celebrate women in tech. Um, we see magazines and all that, that sort of like um, profile what they do. We have platform now, I think it's called First Check, um, that are focused on giving funding to women founders. And we see things like that. But there is something missing when you are profiling these women. You are not focusing on what they have done in terms of saying, oh, I have probably led the growth of this business from z ground zero to... You are more focused right? on the I'm, fact that she's a woman and she's in it's tech. In tech. Yeah. You're not like <laughs> talking about, oh, this woman produces this product, oh, she oversees the project. We are not going deep to show the, the details, capabilities of these women. Yes. We're just like, oh, post that women Men, yes, we are now women in tech, right? Mm. So I want her to elaborate on that. And I think that, like I said, there's a lot of angle to look into it. But um, 20 years from now, there will be a lot more women in tech because we're having this conversation now. I remember us growing up was different because you have a situation where guys are expected to go into science and mathematics mm -hmm. and every other thing. But now, I mean, of course, everybody will want to encourage their child to do something, whether you are a boy or a girl. Yeah, so absolutely. it will definitely shift. Um, we are getting there, it's not going to be automatic, really. Mm. Yeah. Money, money. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, generally, I just think women are a clear minority in the mm. workforce, you know, period. So we just need to look at how to, you know, make them a part of everything that is going on. And they are a clear minority for very obvious reasons, like um, Elsie just talked about some of them, obvious and some not so obvious reasons. So I think it's high time we actually have this conversation and think yeah. of how to bring them in with the boys. Okay, so big, <laughs> actually with the big, big boys. boys. You know the thing is, you know the funny thing, I'm actually looking to employ someone because we're trying to develop an app. 
Okay. And honestly speaking, hearing us talk now, I just realized that you have to get a woman. <laughs> no. Okay, honestly. so you see, you've been programmed. No, why? No, why? Because... Is it programming? Okay. Yeah, it's a program. So part of what Elsie said about even the um, what's it called, the uh, biological challenge, um, uniqueness of women and all of that. So actually, we nah. didn't even think. Nah, you know, nah. Let me just. Yeah, yeah, no. but, the, but, but the reality, <laughs> no, the reality of the situation now is that you might only actually find men to yes. do that job. So that's why we are saying. No, but, but yes, we have the likes of Omo. Well, okay. So, so I guess it's time to bring her in. We know Omo. So as man, you don't introduce her already. That, yeah. <laughs> You think there will be more like uh, more people I, like Omo? I think there are more women like Omo. So, but I'll Hallelujah. leave that to you. <laughs> okay. So, Omo, like you have rightly heard. Uh, <laughs> Omo Clark is the founder of CEO at IBES, um, a growing software company focused primarily on providing software development and digital transformation services to ent uh, entrepreneurs and MSME cl um, clients. She is an award-winning and qualified app, um, IT practitioner tech entrepreneur, business coach, strategist, trainer, and public speaker with approximately two decades of experience in software development. She is a Global Women Entrepreneur um, Initiative Fellow of 2015 she, uh, of the Ivan um, Allen College, Georgia, um, Institute of Technology, Atlanta, United States of America. She's also mm -hmm. a digital uh, auditor certified by the International Trade Center and is ISO 9001 9, qualified. Oh, mm. <laughs> you see that the, the head. So, no, because we are talking brand positioning, we have to tell you that come, we are not speaking to somebody that is just uh, a. <laughs> and they come. I, I, she's not coming. She's, no, she's there. She's, she's there. there. But she thank arrived. you so much Abba, for joining us. <laughs> and by her ad, she's a pretty, pretty woman. Oh my God. <laughs> You forgot to add, I'm a member of uh, Institute of Software Professionals of Nigeria. Oh, wow. And Internet Registration Association. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And I used to be British, uh, British Computer Society, but obviously, I'm in Nigeria now, yeah. so that would... Wow. You know, well, was you still part. add it. You we'll, know. Still, we'll, well, still, we'll still add it, please. Yeah. I hope you heard that. So, <laughs> but, so you I missed mean, a few things. I missed a few <laughs> <laughs> We apologize. <laughs> Thank you. So thank you so much for joining us. I mean, when Elsie talked about you, she sent your profile. I said, "Oh wow, this oh, is wow. this is really impressive because it's 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 one thing for you to see and and like Elsie rightly said, what we've always seen when we talk about women in tech, honestly, it's just like poster face, just like okay, make it be like say, make we just you know, <laughs> let's just make sure that we are ensuring that we are recognizing them. But the the detailing of what you know, this women on. actually do. Yeah. You know, Nobody it, talks about no, this. No, no, no. Why is that so? No, I don't know. So like, I remember that conversation mm -hmm. when I'm like, uh, when people talk about me, like, women in tech. So it's like the token person in mm -hmm. the room mm -hmm. and they don't actually believe you actually practice tech, you know? And I will come back to circle back to a lot of things you guys have said okay. that's just pigeon holes us into like that position. You say when you visualize people, branding, mm -hmm. you're visualizing a man. It was one of the first things you were talking yes. about when you talk about mm -hmm. this. So you're not visualizing me. No. Yeah. You talk about our biology. Mm -hmm. Our biology doesn't make no difference to when I'm coding. Mm. Thank you. I'm not carrying bricks. <laughs> yeah. And even if I was carrying bricks, maybe I might challenge a man. Who knows? You know. But it's knowledge work. It's you know what I mean. So competence is to do with your passion, your interest, and things like that. It's nothing to do with your biology, mm -hmm. your physical abilities. So already we've just pigeonholed women and it goes back to the way, first the way we are socialized, you know, it's like when they deliver you are a girl, female, apart from all these societal norms and all these values and cultures that people, you know, I mean, already go into. You talked about raping a 12 year old, you know, people seeing that as normal and 12 years old, she's Imagine. already, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just like, I was thinking actually earlier today that I was just thinking about child brides. Do we ever hear of child grooms? No. Mm. <laughs> no. You know, all, all these things that just pigeon you yes. into the kitchen and the other yeah. room. You know, it's, it's, it's society-wide. Society yeah. And then it comes into all these professions that are supposed to supposed be men, men jobs. Driven, yeah. You know, men, male-dominated industries. So tech and look at medicine. There are many medical doctors that are women. But when you think of a medical doctor, you think, think of a man. man. When you think, if you say a, a woman, you think, nurse, it's a nurse, nurse. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And they're good male nurse. You know what I mean? It's interchangeable. But people, you just have these things. Women, weaker sex, soft. Mm. My biology won't let me. Yeah. Period. Mm. You know? How does that prevent you from coding? 
code, a code is gender neutral. When you write a code, what is a code? Let me teach you some tech. It's a set of instructions you give to a computer. Mm -hmm. I mean, how does me being a woman prevent me from writing a set of instructions to a computer? Like, the end result, they will not know whether it was a <laughs> woman that wrote this you know, coding man. or a When man. you're thinking of that app developer, mm -hmm. you didn't think about me doing this no. for 20 years. When you said two decades, I finished my master's in 2001 mm. in tech, in IT. And wow. I've been working in IT since then in software. So IT is broad, you know, you do many, many things. So I'm in the software part of it, mm -hmm. you know, so I've been doing that for two decades and building stuff. But, you know, people say, oh, come and talk about women in tech. They didn't come. You built Handy Jacks. Oh, it's a fabulous thing that you can go and find artisans around you to do work. People are not talking about that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're building let sheds for people to find a spare bedroom to rent. They're not talking about that one. What about the app I just launched last week for a hospital? EMR, you mm -hmm. know, uh, electronic medical records applications for them to do better. You didn't talk about that, you know, or the one I just did for, is it an insurance company? Yeah, to manage it. All of that you're not talking about, but all you're talking about is she's a woman in tech because you're just, in, yeah, you have the talking women and sure. stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know. But then again, again, it goes back to the way we are socialized. So we are not socialized to do these main jobs. Mm -hmm. Education-wise, again, when you're there, you are not like veered towards applying for all these things. You can be like, even if some of your parents are really aspirational, they will say go and study law. Mm. <laughs> 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 they won't say go and study medicine or engineering. No, Abby, am I lying? No, you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. They'll say go and study law oh, because yeah, medicine like... or engineering might be a little bit too much for you, but yeah. you can be a good lawyer. Yes. <laughs> My, my dad said that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what, what is this costing us, though? Because if we are not projecting the, um, like, see what you've just said about the apps you've built, you know, for the hospital, for the insurance company, and all of that. If we are not positioning ourselves, not to just be the poster face of women in tech, but more of what we have done. So we're thinking there's a traffic jam in Lagos. How am I creating a, a tech solution that can ease off the yeah. roads or whatever? Or you're thinking mile 12, the way how people will create apps to say, you know what, I don't want to go to the market. I just want to yeah, sit at mm -hmm. home. We'll so why are we not positioning mm -hmm. um, um, the products that we have? It's... I suppose just putting a fine yeah. face to say, oh, women in tech. It's, 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 it's many things, you mm. know. So it's all these barriers that we've talked about. I've built all these things. Even I'll, I give an example that I'll give another. So this application I built, Handy Jacks, should have done better, you know. But I don't think I'm marketing it the way it should be. Because I'm not a marketer, I'm a tech person. But that's a different story. Okay. Um, it should have done better. I remember one of my staff, in fact, separate times, you know, staff have said, the staff said to me, uh, ah, the person that uh, built this thing, they really did a good job. You know, this thing is very complex. Your staff. My staff. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, but I told you that, that I was I the one that did it. it. It goes, yeah, but I thought you got somebody to what? do it. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think you, you should know? start by so, telling us. So, so that's that one. Mm. About Handy Jacks. What's that about? Oh, it's an application. www. Let me plug it in. Dot handy hyphen jacks dot com. I saw it. You, for, you are able to get plumbers, yeah. handy men, oh. yeah. to be able to do yeah. work. It's for people to find... I actually heard about people it. People to come and do work in their mm -hmm. homes. Okay. So I built it. I designed it. It's when I first moved into Nigeria. And over 10 years ago now. You know what I mean? It's like everything was just like... Ah! I want to find a plumber, you'll get somebody that is just rubbish. You want to find this one, everybody just rubbish. And then I got, yeah, actually it's a plumber, I got the inspiration from a plumber. Somebody, it was just really good, his name is Shola. So everybody go and use Shola, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, Shola, you're so good, you know what I mean? How come I've been killing myself? People be telling me this is not London, no. <laughs> mm. This is Nigeria, you know, just downgrade your expectations. Shola, why, how come I've never found anybody like you? I've used like, I mean, painters, you name it. He goes, so he starts laughing. He goes, he went to, I'm like, your ogre that taught you must be really good. And then he goes to me, I didn't have an ogre. School. I went to technical college. Aww. I'm like, where? He goes, in Ojo. I'm like, where is that? He goes, Ojo. I'm like, uh -uh. you mean in Nigeria here? Mm -hmm. He goes, technical yes. College. There are technical colleges in Nigeria. Yes, this is my are. ignorance, you know, so that's my own fault. I didn't know that. And he goes, yeah. He studied, he's a professional plumber. I can do this. He starts telling me, so why don't people know you? He goes, because um, he doesn't have money, he starts telling me all the reasons why. <laughs> I'm like, wow, what if I build a platform where we can showcase people like you, then when people need your services, they will come and get you. He goes, that would be good. I'm like, but you'll pay money to register. And he goes, how much? I'm like, um, I don't know, maybe 50K a year. He goes, oh, I can do that. We don't even charge people 50K a year. But yeah, that's how the journey the started, yeah. you know, and we're where we are today. Mm.
Mm. And we can go a lot further. Mm. It's just, you know. So yeah. that's where Elsie comes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can help me. But yeah, you were going to ask me a question. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Money. Money. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay so let's talk about yeah, You okay. mentioned um, how we were socialized, right? Yes. Can we even begin to correct that? And where do we start from? It starts from, obviously, culture is the way things are done. Mm -hmm. You know, not being able to... Changing your culture is a big thing. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about branding. Okay. You know, so sometimes with... with uh, what is a brand? A brand is the perception of who you are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's everything about you that makes you uniquely you. So when people look at you, they're ready for a picture about you. That's your brand. So we don't know it. So every time we're projecting something, you're projecting, you're projecting, you know, that's your brand. Mm -hmm. So how do so we rebrand women? Intentional. So how do we rebrand yeah. women? You have mm -hmm. to be intentional. So instead of what well, I'm visualizing a man, mm. I'm visualizing a software developer. Thank you. I was you going know, to say. Gender neutral. Use gender neutral terms. So I'm not saying you exclude the men because somebody asks a question and I always get that question, do you employ women over men? And I would say I employ the best person for the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. I like that. So you, you start using some of these words. In the home, the parents have to be intentional. Instead of, you can give your child a Barbie doll if that's what they want or just let them pick what they want, you know, when you go. You can go and pick what you want now, you know, instead of you forcing it down, you're a woman, <laughs> you should be in the mm, kitchen, mm. you know. Yeah, and then another thing, you know, we right now what we're talking about with the women in tech, mm -hmm. I think that's another problem. So if we just say people in tech, mm. we can start from there as well. Then you said something, I, I know it, it, it didn't go down well with you. No, the reason we say women in tech is because we want to be intentional about promoting women in, in tech, tech. Mm. just because they are not represented at all. So we want okay, to so make sure... Okay, so we're trying to advertise it first. Yeah, we want to be like, yeah. you're a woman, just to be like, okay, these are the margin underrepresented people rather. So mm. to bring them out, you know, people say they were celebrating. I remember myself, they put something, it's a men's day. I'm like, why are we celebrating men's day? Like, oh, because women always celebrate. I'm like, no, women are celebrating because they are underrepresented. So they need something intentional, you mm. know, to push, to bring them out. So the men are celebrated every day. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why we don't go to men in tech. You know, we already know they are oh, men. Yeah. When you are visualizing a man. Mm. So when mm. we say women in tech, we want you to intentionally visualize those women. women. Okay, you know what, let's yeah. go on a very short break because there's something <laughs> you mentioned I would like to bring back. Um, but we'll do that right after the break. Stay with us. Mm. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tune in, we're having an amazing chat with Amor on women in tech and we're asking how can we bridge the gap right the gender gap especially with brand positioning stay with us um please let us know what you have to say <laughs> remember you can join the conversation <laughs> send us an sms or whatsapp six three one eight zero three four six six three. you can also tweet at us at wait your Africa one with the hashtag wait show you know the thing is i think i've tuned you are out on auto about yes i think you're yes. 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 you're you're, 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 you're yes. going stay with well, us yes. is correct <laughs> Stay with us. You know, it, it, so you touched on something, and I thought maybe Elsie was going to pick it, uh, pick it up because Elsie is a very strong advo advocate for um, branding. How mm. it's important for you to invest in marketing, invest in you know pushing out mm -hmm. your content, pushing your product, it out yeah. there. So for Handy um, Jacks, for instance, you know, as one of the products that you have you know um, built. So uh, what do you think more women in tech should do even when they also bring them out there um should shouldn't they start to be deliberate about investing in people like um elsie that are digital marketers to be able to push more of the products i suppose their person the brand i mean i was having a conversation with someone that i'm helping her to do like she's trying to position herself brand positioning and by the time she sent me her article, um, <laughs> inside her article, she had written like in her article, like in 10 or five different places, her name, just her name, talking about herself, herself, herself. And I, so we had to go back mm. and tell her, no, you are, there's something, there's a message you're trying to promote. There's an advocacy that you're trying to push out there. So you need to make it less about yourself and more about your message. message, your product, and what you're trying to push, your passion. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing I think I have noticed with women in tech. 
right? Instead of you to make it less about who you are as your person, a woman in tech, and more about your content, so that people will start asking, ah, ah, who developed a handy mm -hmm. um, jack? And what's the name? Yeah. Who because that is how come they will not say, oh wow, so there's a woman behind this amazing content. Because now you have invested in pushing out that content above you know pushing yourself so do you not think that that might be one of the biggest problem i think a lot of women in tech do have i think that is a two-pronged problem okay mm -hmm. i think one of the problems i have with marketing is a problem that people that are techies as they call us oh, yes. will face yeah mm -hmm. You don't marketing. focus about all of no. that. Yeah, you are yeah. just about. So the it's product. not because I'm a female. If, mm. you, if a male developer will also have. Yeah, they are like that. Yeah. Too, right? I agree. Know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's they are more focused on their product. I'm yes. focused mm. on, on on doing the Coding, thing, the yeah. functionality. So if I'm, I'm telling you the functionality, and I'm not a marketer type person. Yeah, just just to that. chip in before you yes. go on, which is why even now, as people who sort of market this product, mm. we get to let them understand that from the point of you conceptualizing this product, you need mm -hmm. a marketer on board. Yeah. And um, from, from that point, you call them a communications um, specialist and then a marketer. Because if they cannot embody that product as something they can even use and visualize, then they cannot begin to yeah. build the personas that should yeah. even True. understand the product. Yeah. So those who really go far with their products from the word go, begin to spend money on marketing. And it's not exactly, oh, you have to spend crazily. You can really measure it because you know that at this point you are bootstrapping, at this point you are a startup, but a lot of intention has to go along with yeah, that I as agree. well. Yeah. Yeah. But like she aspect. said, it's well, not just women in tech. Yeah, it's just general Generally, tech people. product and developers, <laughs> they're just focused it's on a tech yeah thing, mm -hmm. so that but then the other thing about promoting myself as a woman in tech mm. personally I didn't intentionally do it yeah mm. it's just I'm a woman in tech yeah and people oh so you actually know what you're talking about you know mm. so a lot of times I get people will invite me somewhere and then maybe they just think okay the token person and then I start talking and they'll be like oh my gosh so you actually know what no, you're what talking you're about mm. you know you actually know your your, your, craft, your stuff your onions as you call it and then it goes so there was no intentionality but like with branding so it's i think a year two years ago i started becoming more intentional about branding, branding. Mm -hmm. my personal brand and my company brand you know, going to the product itself yeah. brand so that's but like i say it's a we think from the different sides of our heads, mm -hmm. you know, so <laughs> I, when I I'm thinking, how would this thing work? When you're telling me I want to build this, all I'm saying is, okay, how will it work? How will it, you know what I mean? I'm not thinking, how am I going to push it in the face of people? people? What words will I be using? No. Mm. Yeah. Because hmm. that's know, technically so not her job. Mm. That's not her part of tech. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know, these days, product management, product development, you know what I mean? It's become... A thin thing thing yeah. when before i'm like well, we've been managing products for ages now mm. you know i've been building tech products for like forever managing tech products forever but we didn't have that name label and that intentionality behind it yeah. you know so do so, you think it's better now yes in that sense mm. and going back to women in tech and girls in tech and how we are socialized and normalized is better now mm. 20 years ago there were fewer women even though 20 years ago, I wasn't thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm a woman in tech and I'm a sole woman in tech. And, you know, those conversations did not even happen to me in my mind. You know, there is, it's a thing that has really been in the last few years, the, there's the been so much focus. Yes. You know, when I started off, it wasn't that it was, I like what I'm doing. I mm. like this thing. I want to do it and I could do it. And there was nothing like, in fact, I'm going into the room. Maybe they were thinking that this woman knows me, but abroad, I don't know too much. In Nigeria, I think I got that more in Nigeria when you walk in and they think she will feed you the walk. The size you up, look at you. It's all where people make up her face like this. <laughs> you know, does she know what she's talking about? Mm, maybe it's connections that got her here or something, mm, you know. Yeah. So I think I get that more in Nigeria than when even when I lived abroad, that they just size you up and put you in a pigeonhole box. So yeah, sit down there. Mm. Okay, <laughs> let me, yeah. sorry, let me ask a question. You know, there's this saying that what a man can do, a woman can do better. So what would you say to encourage young girls, ladies to go into, you know, like study tech-based courses? You said something, you said you, you were interested. So yes. I'm just curious, what got you interested? Because I'm sure we are not um, <laughs> very far in age and um, you know how you I never grew up. <laughs> well, yeah, but you do good, whatever. <laughs> so my parents, like you guessed, wanted me to read law. So you're going to study law. You are going to study this. You know, every, they handed us mm. everything. <laughs> yeah. So nowadays things are changing. But what exactly would you say 
you know, to encourage girls now to study tech-based courses. STEM, okay, uh, or tech. Okay, something you said earlier, I just remembered, it came back to me, because you're like, women are now able to do things that men can do. And I'm like, well, I'm sure we've always been able to do it. Mm. No, I said, what, what a man can do. Y yeah, not now. Okay, okay earlier when we on. started. Yeah, okay. earlier on. So they can, they can do it. So they, it goes back again to your, when I talk about the way we are socialized, it means Background. the way we are brought up, yeah. you know. It needs to start from the home, from education. So from the home, parents can, you know, let your children follow their passion. If it's to sing, let them sing. Mm. If they want to be a model, let them be a model. You know what I mean? If they want to be a tech person, let them be. Yeah, but well you can encourage them towards <laughs> some, you know, like you, tech you can You can encourage them by giving them, you know what I mean, in my home. So I'll tell you from my home. Okay. When I was, my mom is, so my mom went to school, so I suppose because of that she's open to education. You know, my mom went to up to master's degree level. So my mom was always like, do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you can make money at the back of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So she was always like that. So I think when I was small, I wanted to be a pilot um, <laughs> for a long time. Then, I don't even know why. But then I wanted to be a lawyer. Not because anybody forced me, I just thought I could talk. I'm like, I think I'll make a good lawyer. And then I decided if I didn't actually, before I left Nigeria, after for secondary school, I did jam. I applied to IFE, first choice, second choice, third choice law. Hmm. What? <laughs> because I wanted to study law, you know. Um, but I didn't study law. I went abroad and I studied business admin okay. just by chance. You know, my sister was like, go and study accounting. I ended up business admin. So the way I got into it, in my final year project, uh, a friend of mine said to me, I was like, what should I do? I don't know what to do. And he goes, why don't you do something in tech? Because then a lot of people are going into tech. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, tech, IT. I don't know, IT, that's what it, I'm like, yeah. I don't know anything about IT. And he goes, well, you know, this, that, that. I want, I'm like, I want to be an HR person. Mm. Well, I'm going to tech. So anyway, you're just trying this. So I'm like, okay, I'll see what I can do to marry tech and HR. Mm -hmm. So he goes, the tech industry has really changed, you know. In those, a lot of people are becoming more contractors. This You can say something about that. So I talked about staffing in the tech industry. So that's mm -hmm. what I did in my final year project for one year. Mm -hmm. And on the, at the end of that, I thought, oh, this IT is very interesting. I think this is where okay. I would like to uh, uh, form my career. So I went to do a master's in IT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. And that's how I got into IT. And after my master's, I started working in a software company mm. 20 years ago. Mm. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it was awareness. Someone opened your Somebody eyes. Somebody like, yeah, sort of like, you know, but it's not like I could have done it and I thought, nah, yeah. this is not for me. But I yeah, feel like I find sure. this actually very interesting. Was, I think when the rubber meets, you know, met the road. The road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. But well, I was going to say that, you, how lucrative is this IT business? IT is... Because right now, <laughs> it is the rave of the moment. A lot of people... Are really really going into <laughs> developing um, coding and all of that. We're teaching our children from young ages, you know, uh, coding. It. I mean, how lucrative is it? So the funny, funny thing is a funny thing. It is broad. Hmm. Very. It is broad. You know what I mean? There are so many things you can do. Um, I mean, software development, which is one area of IT, but there are other things. There's infrastructure, there's telecoms, networking. there's yeah. networking, there's people that join. You know, yeah. people bring laptops to me. I remember one of my uncles bring, like, bringing a laptop, fix my laptop. I'm like, dude, I can't fix laptop. <laughs> 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 I know a little bit about it, but I'm not a mm. laptop fixer. I build software, mm. you know. Um, so, like, if we talk about software, software development in yes, itself. Yes, let's focus on your... All the different careers in it. If you talk about software, you want to build this, you're just thinking about a coder. A coder mm -hmm. is not even the only thing you have there. You have, if I go from run, you know, project manager, that's another thing. Lucrative, mm -hmm. they earn a lot of money. Business analyst, that is massive. And there's a gap in Nigeria. Business analysis is one thing that will make your software product fail. Not mm -hmm. even the coding. So we need them. And if you go and Google, search abroad, they earn comparative salaries to people that actually code. People mm -hmm. that code do 5% of the work. You know, mm -hmm. business analysts, are there. software testers, they earn so much money. Uh -uh. Sof yes, so software architects, the people that like building a house and do all of that, they earn so much then money. Then you are UX? You are UX. That's Which one you are UX? Ah, user, 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 not tech user you. interface, user experience. So okay. the, people, mm. <laughs> the people that like build like, you know what I mean? Design. What you see, yeah, architect, the what you mm -hmm. see, okay. and then the experience, you know, yeah. how you navigate through it. Mm. You know, so, so what, what part do you play in all of this? Are so, you able to do everything or you just... I'm al almost like, because I run a software company, mm. so I know a bit of everything. everything yeah. But my 
area of choice is design. Mm -hmm. I love design. Design is you have the logical design and you have the physical design, which is user interface, what you see. Then you have the logic, how it thinks. So you want this thing to do X, Y, Z. You have to think of how, you know, if this person does this, I want this to react in this. Yeah. And, okay, what if this doesn't happen? What's the alternative scenario? You're looking at no, me, no, all no, funny. I, <laughs> no, you know, I think that that must be very, very um, great. So there are many things. And then for people that are, I'm a creative person, you know, you have graphics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Content is another thing. People yeah. that develop content. You know, it's not content development. Like, I'm a content developer. I'm a content <laughs> <laughs> It's There's a science to it, you mm -hmm. know, so... You have that so much you can do, and it's really broad. You can find your space anywhere. If our education uh, curriculum mm. in computer science or IT or digital, whatever, was a bit better, you know, from primary school, you start exposing people to yes. all different things, yeah. and they start finding their niche, their area. This is where I want to be. With, I, I think that's the, what we yeah. need to do. Even with the yeah. way the world is going, honestly, um, Omo, truth is, there's nothing you cannot use tech with right now. Tech is for everything. Do you understand? Mm. It's for everything. You can mm. actually be a... Because telemedicine is tech. Everything. Is do you understand? A lot of things. Now. It's a very big. Edutech. 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 Yes, Edutech. 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 Agrotech. Yeah. So there's tech in everything. everything. So, so tech is mm. basically... It's everything a, we've been doing manually infrastructure you're not creating a solution that yeah. makes everything yeah. easy yeah. so take fintech for example right for the traditional banks now they are already almost going to fintech anyway so but what it was before is you have a building you have paperwork you have a lot of bureaucracies mm. and then this tech guy comes and then you can just do everything on the phone and then Simplify their overhead everything. their overhead is not as much which is where the making money comes mm. from so the same solution that is working for her will work for a million and other people. You probably just need to pay for your cloud, your um, AWS and everything, and you have your space, right? Mm -hmm. And you can now multiply that and you're making your money, really. Yeah. So it's just about taking this traditional rudiment way of things and then breaking mm -hmm. it down to easy way mm -hmm. where you can say, I'm putting in you my name, this is what I want. Like she said, she has thought about it as the designer, right? And she's making your life easy as the person who wants to use that product. Mm -hmm. So you just come to that product and put in what you want. Like she has commanded the product to do. So you're basically living off what has come from her mind to make your life easier. Mm -hmm. and, and should I say something? To actually have a tech product, mm. you don't have to be a tech person. Of course. Mm. Yeah, we you know, can we know come that. to me to build your lawyer app, mm -hmm. <laughs> to build your digital marketing, whatever it is you want mm. to do, and to do your one as well. I don't know what app you want to build, but <laughs> I have an app in my head. Don't worry. You know? We discuss after the show. <laughs> <laughs> so you can come to people like us. We work behind the scenes and we mm -hmm. build it for you, and you'll be a tech product owner. Yeah. You know, you'll be a tech founder. Mm -hmm. You know, meanwhile, let me build that chair. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, yeah. yeah. To say you, so you can make money. You don't have to be. So you come like, hey, I don't know anything about technology, but I have this idea. No, well, find somebody that will help you bring your idea yeah. alive. So I want to ask a final question. So far, I'll leave these people to ask us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because you're a woman, yes, and you build these things, the softwares and everything, do they charge? Do do people price you lesser because if they go to a male, um, a male company? Or a male-run company and your company, do they say, "Oh, because she's a woman, do they do, is the price? Do they do they come up with such kind of gender pay? Gap. Gender pay gap? Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the word. <laughs> I think so. Hmm. Mm, I think so too. I think they already. So this is our unconscious bias. Mm. That so when you talk about the break, so some of that unconscious bias just really needs to be broken down. So first, they've looked at you. Ah, this one a woman. Oh. So she know what thing she they do. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you even want to use the money for? It's all Thank these things you. about you know mm -hmm. women and uh, your husband's money or one thing money. You know what I mean? So you just get priced less. Mm. And I think also because I'll use this word again for the hundredth time, the way we are socialized. So women are not natural negotiators, many of them, mm. in that sense. Mm. And or, or rather, we are not taught to negotiate in the same way as men. I think when the men are negotiating together in the thing, yeah, ah, you want to do this hundred million? Oh, yeah. Mm, you know, when you are a woman, they are looking, at and and you you are thinking in your head because we also have this imposter syndrome, syndrome. thingy. Mm. Hey, hey, if I charge this, would they, they, they pay? Mm. Hey, hey, this. A, a, a lady was telling me she was actually interviewing me uh, for her PhD thesis from the UK, but she's a Nigerian, and then she was telling me something she learned. Mm -hmm. She was telling me something uh, she learned in, from her one of her bosses. She used to shadow him. 
she goes, she never knew that, and she was, you know, quite trying. She did, she did try small, small, you know. And she goes, she'll go in with this guy, and the guy will be, she'll say to the person, my charge is, for example, one million. And the person tries to be, ah, let me take it for 700. Is it 700? Okay. I know somebody that can do it for you for that price, but for me, oh, for the quality, I'm, you know, there was the old way, and she was like, hmm, this strategy, and she started using that strategy herself, you know, hmm. to, to get the money. And a lot of us women were not... So we need to also get to that we point. Need to, women where need to help learn themselves, as well. you know, yeah. learn some certain skills, skills. that Absolutely. were not Absolutely. taught to us because we are taught to cook and clean and manage yeah. house and children. On that <laughs> note, <laughs> we've had a fantastic conversation. Oh, yes, we as have. Always. Mm. I'm thinking, hmm. I have to do more things for women in tech. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, we had a fantastic you. conversation. Thank, Thank you, you Manny. So much. Thank you, Elsie Godwin. Thank you. All right, so before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram. It's at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our social media engagement. Invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. So if you missed today's quote, here it is again. Brand is just the perception and perception will match reality over time. Sometimes it will be ahead, other times it will be behind. But brand is simply a collective impression some have about a product. This is from Elon Musk. We'll see you guys live on Monday as we bring another great conversation to your screen. I am on a holiday mode. <laughs> <laughs>